Okay, you guys, so as you can see by the title and thumbnail of this video, I have a thread up DIY designer box. Yes, another one. I also have three more over there. So let's get into this one. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally at an antique mall and occasionally I'm a Kari Depop Facebook marketplace um, and I have a huge ThreadUp addiction. So I am a ThreadUp ambassador, which means that I get $25 in credits at the beginning of every month. I can save them up and spend them all together or I can spend them as soon as I get them, whatever I decide. So I ended up purchasing this DIY designer box. This one's from Suwanee, Georgia. Um, I haven't had the best luck with these, but I keep buying them because like I said, I have a thread up addiction. Um, I paid $129.99 for this box. It's seven items and it's usually $140. I used $20 in credits because I cashed in some of my thread up points from ordering so many boxes. Um, and then the shipping was $9.99. So I paid $129.99 for seven items, which works out to, I think it said $18.57 per item. And let's dig in. All right, so here is the first looks. Looks like there's some air bubbles in there. I have another one of these $25 um, gift cards, things, coupon codes. So if anyone wants one, I still have one from the last time. Um, but if anyone wants it, just shoot me an email or a message on Instagram. I will save these to use at a later time. And here's what she looks like. All right. So first looks like a bag. I don't get too many bags in these boxes. It's usually just clothes and shoes. Um, this is what it looks like in the front. I don't see any brand or anything there. It's very unassuming. I also don't see anything on the hardware or the handle. The back side is also plain. All right, inside is a little mirror with a little card slot. Okay, finally we get the brand. This is Balenciaga. I've never gotten this brand before um, in any of these boxes. It does look like it is missing the zipper pull for this little interior zipper pocket. Um, but the inside, it's gonna be hard to show you. It's relatively clean, um, but definitely needs like a good soak or something. There are several stains. See this like orangey stain here all over. Um, but I think that's the back of the bag. There's another small one here. It's hard to see because it's getting washed out by the lighting in here. Um, it's like five-ish, I think, right now. So yeah, so this is item number one. Next, we have something inside of some bubbles. All right, so I got this brand in one of my recent boxes. Can't remember if it was the last one or the one before, but this is opening ceremony. It's gonna be hard to see. One says opening, one says ceremony, and these are gloves. Eh, for $18.57, I doubt I'll make my money back on that item. Hi, Lip. Do you need something? I need to make noise. Okay, that's fine. Can I make something go also? Yes. All right, um, so if you hear noise in the background, it's, it's the child. All right, next item, number three, is Christian Dior Sportswear, 100% silk, size six. It's fine, just make noise. <laughs> this is real life. All right, so 100% silk, Christian Dior. It is a blouse, it's kind of like a plaid pattern. It's a nice holiday color. And it does have like a, I don't know if this is called a pussy bow or if this is something different than a pussy bow, but it does have the tie here. Um, it looks like it's in fine shape. I don't see any glaring issues with this. 
being a DIY box, a lot of times they do have problems. All right, this item still has the tag. Never had this brand either. This is Sink Asset. The retail was $395. I think this is a dress. Yeah, this is cute. Um, so it's a white and black dress. So it's meant to look like a dress over like a white blouse. It feels like silk, um, at least the shirt part. So let's see if I can find what it's made from. Yep, the lining is polyester and the shirt part is 100% silk. So it's new with tags, but that doesn't always mean that it's not without flaws. But I don't really see anything at first glance. It does have a little keyhole here in the back. That's item four. And I have one more piece of clothing and then I have two pairs of shoes. Okay, so I got this in a recent box as well. This is Escada, size 42. And this is also a dress. It's gonna be hard to show. It is all black. Long sleeve, it has some gathering there at the neck. I would say this is probably midi length. It's hard to tell um, when I'm sitting down, but just plain black dress. Also don't see anything on this either. And then two pairs of shoes and then that's it. So this brand I have gotten, I think this is now the second time as well. It's not my favorite. I don't pick it up in the thrift store ever, but this is Stuart Weitzman. Um, these are a size seven and a half, it looks like. A little snakeskin python with a kitten heel. Uh, they look to be in pretty good shape though. I don't see any issues with these, so I am happy with the condition, just not so happy about the brand. And then last but not least, we have some Ferragamos, but on the plus side, um, cause this is not my favorite brand, especially shoes. On the plus side, these are not like the normal vintagey looking ones. Here is the label and these are a little like a platform, like a flat form basically, cause it's not really a wedge, it's more flat. Suede, leather, they do have some little marks like down here, probably from rubbing on clothing or against each other, if you guys can even see that. If you can't, I'm sorry. Um, the bottoms look good. They were made me worn a couple times. And these are a size 9B. A little ankle strap. So yeah, these are okay. I'm not super mad about these, but yeah, like I said, there's definitely some marks of wear on the suede. All right, so we have the Ferragamos, that's one. The Stuart Weitzman kitten heels is two. Escada dress, three. The new with tag Sync Acept dress is four. Oh, I forgot. I had this in it. Um, the Christian Dior silk blouse is five. These opening ceremony gloves, which, eh. Um, those are six. And the Balenciaga bag, which does need a really good soak and a clean, um, is number seven. So I think my favorite out of these is probably the Saint Gosset dress, but we'll see. Um, I do wanna let you guys know though that I have started sending back items to the real real. Um, I stopped using them for a little over a year, um, but I just know that I'm not gonna list a lot of these things. So I sent, I think three Burberry coats and a couple other things that I had found at the bins. So my cost was minimal, at least on the bins items. And then three, the three Burberry coats were from these thread up DIY designer boxes. So we'll see what happens with those. I just sent them in a couple days ago. Um, so it'll take some time for them to process them and get them listed, but I will keep you guys updated. Um, I will try to list this stuff first. That's going to be my process going forward. Even with using them, I'm going to try and list whatever I can things that I don't really want to list or don't have space to list, like the Burberry trench coats, which takes up, take up a lot of space. 
I will send into the real real, but I will at least try to list them first and sell them. So that's the box, $129.99. Nah, that's how I feel about most of these boxes, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite item was down in the comments. Down below, I would love to hear it. And if you liked it at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And as always, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here and my weird little family on the internet and hope to see you next time. Bye guys.